A report into life for young parents in the House of Commons recommends a changes to parental leave, allowing infants to be on the floor and improve child care facilities. To discuss life on the Hill as a parent with a young child, we're joined by two Block Wave MPs who had a baby son together. That's little Ulysses, born on <laughs> September 7th. Marilyn Gill and Xavier Barislou Duval join me in the studio. <laughs> Ulysses kicked up quite a fuss today in the house. You oh, yes, know. He, he heard Elizabeth May talking and he started call, crying that's, out. That's why he's sleeping right now. <laughs> <laughs> that was kind of funny. Well, tell, tell us how, how is Ulysses and how are you handling having a baby and, and continuing your parliamentary duties? How difficult is it? Yeah, we have to do three or four things <laughs> at the time, like I, I believe every parent uh, have to do. Well... We have to, to cope with what it is to have a, an infant, a, a young kid. Uh, and I, I believe we, we shouldn't ask ourselves questions before thinking of having one. We, we just cope with it every day and we're kind of inventing what it is to, to be two parents in Parliament, do, having a baby. <laughs> do they have the facilities to handle this? I mean, you're in the Commons. Mm -hmm. um, what happens when Ulysses says, I need a diaper change right now. What happens? <laughs> well, there are facilities, uh, but we didn't know that there, there were at first. There were at the sixth floor. There's a small piece uh, where we can go. <laughs> it's for all MPs. So any MPs who has a baby can go there. Uh, so uh, for now, it's still okay because there's not too much baby. But I don't know <laughs> in a couple of years, it's because uh, the, the MPs are younger and younger by the time. And there's more women too. So maybe it will need to get... Uh, uh, an expansion because the room <laughs> will be too small, I think, in a couple of years. Right, but well. for now, it's doing the job. <laughs> but um, there could be more facilities, that's well, like sure. Karina Gould's pregnant. Mm -hmm. uh, Nikki Ashton, Ashton just had twins. Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. I don't know. I think it's a baby <laughs> boom underway. Yes. I do want to talk about this report because it, it, it raises an interesting question, problem I didn't know existed. MPs don't pay into employment insurance and they can't claim employment insurance so they don't get paid maternity leave. What's that like for you? Does that force you back to work? Yeah. Well, in Quebec, it's different because we pay, we pay employment assurance uh, separately from the uh, another. Re there's a regime which is called the uh, the Régime Québécois d'assurance parentale. Mm -hmm. But as MP, we don't pay it anyway. Oh. But <laughs> the, the, it's important to know because we don't we don't. Uh, take uh, employment insurance uh, when we when the parents go uh, uh, to leave for maternity or paternity in Quebec. So what are you supposed to do? I mean, in your case, uh, I mean, are you supposed to go without being paid anything? Because you get docked pay if you're not in the House of Commons. Um, like the, the report said, they allow people when they're not in the house, they don't mm. cut off. 120 bucks so, a day Yeah, or exactly. Right? But um, I, I can only speak for myself. That's not in the report. But I, I did not want to take a leave because, like I said, I'm not... I'm not, I don't know, I'm not sick. Mm -hmm. uh, I was okay. Of course, I was lucky. I, I gave birth on the 7th of September, uh, not on the 25th or uh, when the, the, when the, the, we were back to uh, the house. So right. I was lucky, but maybe for, for some would be good to have a leave. For example, when the, uh, when we gave birth, sometimes it takes more than, than a week or two before uh, we can go back to normal activities. I guess the concern was raised by the conservatives that mm -hmm. if, if they go ahead with the plan as presented, that you wouldn't be docked pay for being on parental leave, that you would get full pay while you're away. And that's actually better than most Canadians would get unless they get topped up by their company. Is that fair? Well, uh, uh, the MPs are paid for a mandate. They're not paid for the, the hour they work. Some mm -hmm. MPs work a lot, others work less. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in, in the opposition, we work a lot. MPs in government doesn't all work a lot. But uh, I know it's my small partisan sentence, mm -hmm. but, uh, <laughs> but um, I, I think that that's a good thing that there's a, a stability in the, the way MPs are paid. But, uh, you know, uh, Marilyn uh, skipped uh, two weeks, mm -hmm. uh, so it's not that much. I, I skipped, uh, uh, you skipped one week, yeah, because <laughs> she stopped two weeks, but one week at the parliament. Yeah, and I me, playing. I didn't stop at all. So in our case, it's, it would be hard to say, well, they, they should be pay, paid less because uh, we are doing the job and uh, with the baby. And uh, we like this, but it's um, a challenge. Yeah, I can imagine. What? Uh, Marilyn, what would be on your 
on your wish list for 2018 to make help make parents make it easier to be a parent of a baby and an MP at the same time? What needs to be done? Um, for my example, uh, I come from a riding which is uh, something like 900 kilometers away from uh, Ottawa, so uh, I have to travel. Of course, this is okay, but um, it's difficult to have family, for example, or to have people to take care of the of the kids. Now, I would like to have a daycare, for example, at eight, six months of age mm -hmm, not mm -hmm. right now it's 18 uh, months now yeah it's, yeah it's two years old yeah so mm -hmm. it's going to be the next mandate uh it would be easier so if we have uh, a daycare on the hill uh that would be something great a space also because like you you mentioned there are there are a lot of mps miss yeah. ashton miss gould will have a, i said uh, i said mps but of course uh, there, there could be men also i i know some colleagues <laughs> from the npd which are not too far from where i'm seated uh, have uh, have had babies too so there should be room also and maybe just just near the house as well because of course changing a diapers we don't have to go that far or we have to <laughs> breastfeed sometimes or there's yeah. just a little noise so maybe space yeah. uh, a daycare yeah. and uh, maybe remote votes that's something uh, that I would like because at. I'm yeah exactly <laughs> not for a year but for a couple of weeks maybe an example it happened today uh, the, at the end of the question period the baby was uh, crying mm -hmm. loud yeah. so Maryland got out of the chamber but a vote started at the same time so she missed the vote yeah. oh dear the okay chance, yeah. Yeah. I think he was just voting in opposition or whatever well, usually we try to vote with the baby <laughs> cute baby he's giving me the stare so i think he wants to be fed so i'll let you both go but uh, thank you both for coming in thank congratulations you. by the way